Hello, my name is Rich Sherrod, and welcome to this rapid recovery presentation video on creating a boot CD. Rapid recovery provides functionality to perform a bare metal restore, known as BMR, to compatible Windows or Linux systems to both similar and dissimilar hardware. The BMR process begins with creating a boot CD image, which is used to boot up the target system, allowing a physical system to be restored to a virtual or cloud platform, or vice versa. This functionality separates the operating system from its specific platform, providing portability. Initially, from the core menu, select the More Options and Boot CDs. Select Create Boot CD. Note there are four main configuration options. The Output Path. This is where the ISO file will be created. In this example, we will change this path from the default to point to a folder created on the C drive called ISOs. Under connection options, we can set whether the boot ISO will attempt to obtain an IP address or we can statically assign one. In this example, we will assign an IP address. Configuring Ultra VNC will allow a connection to the Rapid Recovery console that runs directly off the ISO. This is particularly useful if the system to be restored is remote from your location. If the Add Ultra VNC tick box is selected, we must also specify a password for security. The Ultra VNC port number is also configurable. However, in this example, we will keep the default VNC port of 5900. The final configuration option is to inject drivers that may be required if you intend to restore to dissimilar hardware. Storage controller and network adapters are common candidates that can be injected into the ISO file itself. In this example, we will add a storage controller driver. The driver files themselves must be available and then selected and added into a zip file. The zip file can then be added to the boot CD configuration. To complete the configuration, confirm the drivers to be injected and click the Create CD button. Whilst the boot CD is being created, we can view the progress through the GUI Running Tasks option. Once the task is completed, the ISO file will be visible in your chosen output location. This ISO file can now be burned to disk for a physical machine restore or moved to your VMware, Hyper-V or Zen environments for all virtual bare metal restores. To learn more about Rapid Recovery, please visit us at support.quest.com.